What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Apple Watch OS 2, which was released today, so let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, so first off I'm going to start with the actual watch face itself. Basically, there's a lot of new watch faces. Basically, all you have to do is go into Force Touch, you can scroll through all the new watch faces. Essentially, the new ones involve that you're making your own custom version, or actually something called Time Lapse. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Time Lapse here, it actually is a basic New York watch face here. You can actually set your own photos, do a whole photo album, or just do a city just like this on the Apple Watch. Basically, they also have added time travel for you to actually see what's going on in your device. And scroll with my crown, you can actually scroll forward and see what the temperature will be. As you can see, the actual weather is changing, the date is changing. And if you actually have events, they'll change as well. So it's a great way to see what's going on in your day. Cool little feature that they've added there. Definitely not essential, but definitely very cool and it works just like it's supposed to. Siri is also better with transit directions and creating runs. Basically if I hold down Siri here and say, hey Siri, I want to run for 30 minutes. It'll actually go ahead and open up the workout app. Works very, very well, and you can choose just what you want to do right there. So that is good. Siri's also updated, just like on iOS 9, to be much more helpful and much more accurate. So it's always good to hear that. Probably the biggest feature was apps running natively in Watch OS 2.0. A lot of third-party apps are yet to roll out, but basically you can use your Apple Watch as a standalone device, and a lot of the actual apps load very, very quickly. As you can see, mail loads decently quickly. I'll open up my my music app here loads pretty quickly, much quicker than they used to, and I can't wait to see this roll out with third-party applications. Having the uh, Apple Watch actually tethered to the iPhone and having it run through the iPhone was kind of annoying. I'm glad they're actually finally adding native apps, and eventually this will be a standalone device, so it's good to see that. Also, the new apps will be able to use the Taptic Engine for vibrations, the accelerometer, the microphone, the speaker, and the heart rate sensor, sensor as well as the digital crown. So they'll be able to fully utilize the hardware of the Apple Watch and it will work very, very well. You have a lot more functionality. This is the key of the Apple Watch is third-party apps have a lot of potential. Also, there's going to be new apps like Facebook Messenger and native apps are going to be made better. So for example, you'll be able to actually reply to messages directly in line just like the Messenger app with other messaging apps. Apps are going to be more native and built natively rather than just giving you the notifications. And for example, if you open up an email here, so you can hold down and you'll actually have the ability to reply, um, flag the message, mark as unread, or trash the message. So that is good news. There's also new glances and complications on the watch face. So basically you'll be able to actually go here, click customize, and you'll be able to go into these actual complications and scroll through. Change it to anything you want based on third-party apps as more applications roll out. Right now, they don't really have too many with third-party apps, but I'm sure that developers will roll those out for Facebook, Twitter, all those good things right there on the home screen of the Apple Watch. Also, glances are working a lot quicker. They've also redesigned the screen a little bit here, and it's just a lot smoother, and you'll be able to have more third-party apps in here as well. More friends can be added by going to your friends list by clicking once. Not going to go to my friends list because I don't want to give away personal information. More sketches will also be able to be sent via digital touch. You, you're going to be able to use different colors on your device and it will be a lot quicker. And finally, Apple Pay will be updated and you also will be able to have transit info right here through the Maps application on your device, which works very, very well. And I am glad to see that they are actually integrating many of these features to the Apple Watch that are on the iPhone and iOS 9. Finally, you'll be able to use nightstand mode, which allows you to turn your device on its side and use it as a nightstand alarm. And activation lock will be able to be activated just like the iPhone to protect your device if you ever lose it. So overall, those are the main features. Again, main features are the watch faces that I showed you, better Siri, apps running natively, which I didn't really have third-party apps to show you yet, but I will do a review of that in the future as more roll out. And new apps being allowed to use all of the hardware 
of the Apple Watch and essentially just everything being updated more user friendly like more friends, transit info, Apple Pay, all that good stuff. Overall that's my review of Apple Watch OS 2. A lot nappier, a lot quicker, a lot more stable. I still have to play around with it on a daily basis. I just got it today but overall it's very very good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to rate thumbs up and subscribe and follow my social networks especially my Twitter down there in the description. I've also got videos for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free down there. And I will be doing more Apple Watch videos in the future. Just wanted to give you guys a quick review of Watch OS 2. It's a good, good operating system. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the Watch OS 2 operating system down there in the description by leaving me a comment or sending me a message on my social network. And I'll catch you guys later, guys. Thanks. Peace.